very good morning. You're watching uh, the morning edition of Verdict 2014 right here on Rajya Sabha Television. I'm your host Frank Pereira. Here are the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address rallies in Jammu and Kashmir today amid tight security after Friday's series of terrorist attacks in the valley. Two more terror strikes rocked the valley ahead of uh, the Prime Minister's visit. Grenade targeted at security forces in Thral. Massive arms hall in Kupwara district indicate park involvement. And preparations are at its final stage in Jammu and Kashmir and Jharkhand for the third phase of polls tomorrow. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah among heavyweights in the fray. Well, Jammu and Kashmir has been put on high alert ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's election rally in Srinagar today. Intense security measures are in place in the state capital at the rally venue. Modi's uh, visit comes in the backdrop of a spate of terror strikes by Pakistani militants on Friday ahead of the third phase of polling in the state elections. Here's a report. Srinagar is fortress of sorts. A multi-layer security cordon is in place. The local police, paramilitary forces, the army are on maximum alert. And the Shere Kashmir Stadium in the heart of the city, the venue of Monday's rally is out of bounds from all sides, with army helicopters patrolling the skies. The security grid is in place with all the agencies ordinarily deployed in Kashmir and those that come from outside. And beyond this, you would agree that it would be improper of my part to reveal anything beyond that. The security grid is in place. Suraksha Vavastha Yaanki local sabi जो कमेटियां हैं सरकार की पुलिस है एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है उन्होंने अच्छे प्रबंध किए हैं और हमें पूरा विश्वास है कि शांति में रैली होगी द मोस्ट डायरेक्ट रीजन अ स्पेट ऑफ टेरर अटैक्स इन अ सिंगल डे ऑन डिसेंबर 5th दैट किल्ड इंडियन सोल्जर्स एंड पुलिसमैन बिसाइड्स 11 पाकिस्तानी मिलिटेंट्स Militants raiding an army camp, a gun battle in Srinagar and grenade blasts in South Kashmir have raised concerns ahead of Modi's rally and the third phase of polling. Separatist leaders have renewed calls for a boycott of polls. And here's the root cause for the militant attacks. The first two phases in Jammu and Kashmir recorded 70% plus turnouts. Political parties as well as security forces say all's in place for smooth conduct of polls again. Jan Bujkar. यहां के वातावरण को खराब करने की कोशिश हो रही है लेकिन यहां की जनता ने पिछले दो चुनाव में दो पार्ट के चुनाव में 70 से ज्यादा प्रतिशत वोट देकर अलगवादियों को सेपरेटिस्ट को समझा दिया है कि यह देश अब बैलेट से चलेगा और यहां मुद्दा देश की तरक्की होगा कश्मीर का विकास होगा कश्मीर के औद्योगिक विकास होगा Prime Minister Modi is to address rallies in Srinagar and Anantnag that go to polls in the fourth phase on the 14th of December. On Saturday, Modi termed the militant strikes an attack on democracy, stressing that the democratic process was well on track. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Meanwhile, terrorists struck twice on the eve of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Kashmir for poll campaigning. On Sunday, terrorists hurled a grenade at paramilitary troopers in Thral and a petrol bomb at the house of a national conference official in Srinagar. A CISF personnel was uh, wounded in Thral and a constable was singed in Sunday's attacks. Uh, the army said that uh, the terrorists were still looking to hit civilian targets to create fear ahead of the third phase of polling on Tuesday. He said that uh, 100 terrorists who infiltrated into the army for carrying out various attacks in Jammu and Kashmir were killed in the year 2014. A total of 145 terrorists have been utilized and the number of terrorists killed are 98 in which the army was involved plus two more in Sora also last week. A total of 100 terrorists have been killed in 2014. Compared to the previous year, 2013, a total of 89 terrorists were neutralized and 62 terrorists were killed. Well, the Indian Army has recovered a large cache of arms and ammunition that was uh, to have been used by militants during their encounter with security forces on Friday. 
The recoveries from Handwara in Kupwara district include six AK-47 rifles uh, with uh, 55 magazines, two shotguns, two night vision binoculars, uh, four radio sets, 32 unused grenades and one medical kit. The army also found medicines and food material that were manufactured in Pakistan besides dry fruits and other eatables. The findings indicate that the militants were prepared for a long haul. Meanwhile, campaigning came to an end yesterday for the third phase of polls in Jammu and Kashmir and Jharkhand. This poll or this phase of polling takes place on Tuesday. 16 seats across three districts of Jammu and Kashmir go to polls in this phase. The fate of Chief Minister Omar Abdullah and some other political heavyweights is to be decided in this phase of polling. It's over to the voter now. No more canvassing and electioneering in areas headed to polls in the third phase on Tuesday. Three districts, Baramula, Badgam and Pulwama will go to the hustings in this phase, with a total of 16 constituencies between them. Nearly 13.5 lakh voters will decide the fate of 144 candidates in the fray. Chief Minister Omar Abdullah, who chose Birwa in Badgam instead of family bastion Ganderbal, will be contesting in this phase. The ruling national conference holds four of the 16 constituencies going to polls. Three of them are state ministers. This phase is also critical for the opposition People's Democratic Party, or PDP, that presently holds nine of these seats. The party has renominated six sitting MLAs and fielded fresh faces in three segments. A keenly watched constituency in this phase will be Charare Sharif, where Finance Minister and National Conference Leader Abdul Rahim Radar is seeking a seventh consecutive term. Heavy security is in place for this phase of polling, to be intensified further over the coming 24 hours. The third phase is to be held in the backdrop of four terror incidents in the valley on the 5th that killed 21 people, including 11 security personnel. The alert is higher now perhaps than ever before during these elections. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha Television. Meanwhile, in Jharkhand, two campaigning activity has wound up in areas going to polls in the third phase. 17 out of 81 assembly segments in the state will vote in this phase. Here's more. 5 p.m. As per election commission rules, all campaigning activity came to a halt today in constituencies voting on Tuesday in the third phase of the five-stage assembly elections. 17 assembly segments including two reserved scheduled castes and one for scheduled tribes go to polls in this phase. This includes five seats in state capital Ranchi, Hazaribagh and Kodarma. Three assembly segments have a high tribal presence. Nearly 50 lakh voters will decide the fate of 289 candidates in the fray. The BJP, BSP, JMM, JVM and the Congress are the main parties in the fray. Close to 5,800 polling stations are to be set up across areas going to polls in this phase. 472 booths have been named model polling stations. As in previous rounds, the Election Commission has deputed a large contingent of observers to ensure adherence to security norms and free and fair polling at all stages. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Well, BSP Chief Mayawati addressed an election rally in Jammu region of uh, Jammu and Kashmir yesterday, campaigning for the fourth phase of polls on the 14th of December. Mayawati slammed the NDA government for its way of working, accusing the BJP of forgetting promises made during its campaign for the general elections. Mayawati also raised the question of black money. She said that the party is garnering votes in assembly elections on the pretext of seeking more time to prove themselves, but uh, their reality will soon come to the fore. The BSP is going it alone in the elections in Jammu and Kashmir and Charkand. आप लोगों को विरोधी पार्टियों के जारी किए गए चुनावी घोषणा पत्रों के भी बहकावे में नहीं आना है जिन पर इन्होंने आज तक 50% भी अमल नहीं किया है और इस संबंध में ताजा ताजा उदाहरण यह है कि जब देश में इस बार कुछ महीने पहले यहां 16वीं लोकसभा के आम चुनाव हुए थे तो तब उस दौरान खास तौर से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने अपने चुनावी घोषणा पत्र में देश की आम जनता को गरीब आम जनता को बेरोजगार लोगों को अच्छे दिनों को दिखाने के लिए अनेक को चुनावी वायदे किए थे जिन पर अमल करने के लिए केंद्र में बनी इस पार्टी की पूर्ण बहुमत की सरकार ने अर्थात इस सरकार के मुखिया श्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने अभी तक भी कोई ठोस कदम नहीं उठाए हैं 
Moving on, now Hiranagar Assembly constituency in Kathwa district along the border with Pakistan in Jammu and Kashmir has frequently borne the brunt of unprovoked firing that has threatened lives and livelihoods of the people there. Yet residents say that they refuse to be cowed down and are eager to come out and vote. Here's a report. They have felt the travails of living along a volatile border firsthand. Residents of this village town, most of them farming folk, have had frequent brushes with Pakistani militants crossing over into India. Security forces frequently ask them to evacuate their homes and fields, move hurriedly into makeshift tents and schools miles away. It's a tough life. And local authorities feel steps taken by the administration for their welfare leaves a lot to be desired. हम चाहते हैं कि पांच पांच मरले प्लाट जो है सुरक्षित स्थानों पे दिए जाएं बॉर्डर एरिया को रिजर्वेशन दी जाए जैसे एलओसी एएलसी पे रिजर्वेशन है उस तरीके की रिजर्वेशन दी जाए पढ़ाई में नौकरी में सभी जगह रिजर्वेशन दी जाए द स्टेट ऑफ दीज रोड्स रिफ्लेक्ट्स अ लैक ऑफ एनी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इन द एरिया सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस फार्मिंग इज द ओनली रियल ऑक्यूपेशन एट हैंड एंड इट इज फिल्ड विद रिस्क issues like availability of better and cheaper seeds fertilizers and a sale depot for crops top concerns there is little in terms of employment opportunities for the youth either yet what stand out here is an eagerness to go out and vote residents say they refuse to be cowed down by pakistan's effort to inject turmoil in their lives all they want is a voice that will take their concerns to the right forum hamari border ke upar koi dar nahi hai logon ne kheti bhi ki hai आगे भी लगाई है पीछे भी लगाई है फसल तो ये लगा रहे हैं जहाँ तक अभी पाकिस्तान का हमें पहले से डर कम है क्योंकि हमारी फौज चौकन्नी है और 24 घंटे हमारे बॉर्डर पे खड़े हैं हमारी ड्यूटियाँ दे रहे हैं वोट तो हम डालेंगे चाहे गोली चले चाहे जो मर्जी हो वोट हम डालेंगे अच्छे उम्मीदवार को कोई भी हो तो हमें यही चाहते हैं कि हमारी सारे मसले हल हो जाए हिरानगर गोस्ट टू पोल्स इन द फाइनल फेज ऑफ वोटिंग ऑन द ट्वेंटी ऑफ डिसम्बर The constituency presently has a BJP MLA. No definite anti-incumbency wave, but the residents here want concerted action to improve their lot, and they have faith in India's democracy to bring out corrections. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Well, that's it on this edition of Verdict 2014. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.